Hello there folks, we're going to have a look at a, uh, another new feature that you'll find in Adobe Photoshop Elements version 2020. So it's been out for a few weeks, few months. Um, it's, it's pretty good, it's not a major upgrade by any means, but it's got four or five AI driven, artificial intelligence driven uh, features that Adobe has been developing. And I'm sat in the back row sort of saying, well, rubbish, it's not going to work, you know, because a lot of these sort of uh, artificial intelligence, things, I think it's probably not going to work at all. But here we have one called subject selection. And again, I sort of poo-pooed it, I gave it a thumbs down, but then I tried it, it actually worked. Now I've chosen a picture that is sort of easy, but sort of not easy. It's obviously a, a single woman standing in a field of lavender, you know, as you do <laughs> when you go traveling, you, know, you think, oh, there's a field of lavender, I'll go and stand in the middle of it. So it makes a great color shot. Um, and if we were to try and select her from the lavender, the flowers, as you can see, there's some in focus, some out of focus. Uh, you can see it's all very dotty. There's lots of myriad range of sort of purple, blue and red and pink and orangey tones. Plus also there's the skin tones and the peachy color or salmony color I don't know, off her dress and the hat and the skin tones, etc. So it's very busy. It's got all sorts of things happening. So if we, you know, my go to tool is probably the magic wand tool. So I just sort of click and try and select. Uh, if we go into add mode, try and select uh, her skin tones. As you can see, it's not working terribly well. We're on 32 as a default. Okay, but it, you know, it would it would sort of work. And this would take me, in all honesty, probably five to ten minutes to fiddle around to get a good selection. This tool, on the other hand, the quick selection tool, I think is going to work a little bit better. There we go. You can see that's actually, um, as the name suggests, it's pretty quick at selecting stuff. And you can see it deals with this sort of contrast difference between the dress and the la whoops, the lavender, etc. reasonably well. So again, that would probably take me five minutes fiddling around, just mostly refining its rough. So it initially will select it beautifully, you know, 90% of it within a minute, but then you need to sort of refine it a little bit. So that's not too bad. Um, and you'll find that the selection brush um, is completely and utterly hopeless this because, of course, as you know, the selection brush, you've got to actually manually follow lines around and that's kind of tricky to do. So let's go ahead and have a look at the select menu. And lo and behold, here's a feature called select subject. Um, and clearly this has been designed for images where you have a clear subject. Uh, and again, if you've got a subject like if she's holding hands with um, with somebody and you just wanted to select her and not the somebody, um, it's not going to work because it's probably going to zoom in and select uh, the person who's holding hands with her plus the plus the woman whatever so you know singular subject with a reasonably simple background so if there were lots and lots of other things going on in the background it may not work so well so I just click it whoo, and within five seconds bang it's done the job it's missed the bit in between her arm and waistline on the right hand side as we look at it and it's also missed a little bit under the chin let's zoom in and have a look but hey that is pretty darn good considering um, it did it almost in an instant. So I can go ahead and probably modify this uh, simply by, if I went go and choose, uh, where are we, add, subtract, and we can probably get in here and modify, whoops, there we go, modify this selection uh, a little bit, just using a slightly smaller brush, Robin, there we go, we can fix that up, whoops, there's a little bit of a weirdness on her shoulder there, so that's not too bad, and we can probably even do a little bit here, as you can see, it's a little bit over enthusiastic, this tool, and it's identifying the same sort of purpley color in the shade of her dress there, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, it's not too bad. And I can probably then go back into plus mode and see if I can just reclaim a little bit of this part of the selection. There we go, very gently. Um, so this is going to take me, it's taken me, oof, what's that, three minutes, two minutes, probably two minutes, less than two minutes to do that. And that is pretty darn good. And as you can see here, we end up with a selection that works pretty well. And so this is one of those AI driven, automated, super whiz bang wow type tools that actually does the job pretty well. Enjoy.